Hello, I'm Connor Shentag from the University of Saskatchewan Space Design Team and we're going to be talking about the technology on our 2015 rover. In this video specifically we'll be talking about the suspension design. So in this year's rover we again went with a rocker bogey design. So the rocker bogey itself, rocker just means that most joints are free to move and the bogey is this part here, the small U part which can move freely on the suspension so that it can touch the terrain at all times. The larger part of the rocker bogey is attached to the differential and the differential forces it at all times to be touching the ground. This overall design causes all wheels to be on the ground at all times, allowing maximum traction. This year we used plates rather than aluminum tubing. Our first idea was that last year the aluminum tubing didn't allow for as much clearance as we would have liked to get over rocks. In this design, the wheel can move up through the plates to allow more clearance when getting over difficult terrain. This plate design also allows the force to be more evenly distributed between the two pieces over a greater area, which allows for less bending in the overall system. In addition, these plates, because they are on either side of the wheel, keeps them in line while it is going over bumpy terrain. In this year's design of the suspension, we again went with aluminum for the material due to its good weight to stiffness ratio. Um, as well in this design, we put holes in the suspension to reduce weight. As in our original simulations of the suspension, we found that there was a much higher tolerance for bending in the design. So to save weight, we took out holes in the suspension and still found that there was a decent tolerance for bending. In last year's design, we connected the suspension to the chassis with a small joint and found that due to the joint being so small, the suspension bent back and forth and was generally weak in that area. So in this design, we used a larger tube with a keyway and a large bar inside to prevent that from happening. As a result of this design, the weight of the suspension on the chassis is spread out over a larger area over this entire bar so that it is connected more solidly to the rover. In this year's suspension design, while we were designing it, our largest problem was how are we supposed to fit it together? Originally, just welding was our plan, but if something went wrong in any of the joints on the suspension, they couldn't be fixed. So, as a result, we changed some of the weld points with screws so that this large plate can be taken off if required to fix any components along this joint and the differential. This was not necessary on the bottom of the rocker bogey because if a wheel goes flat or something needs to be changed in this joint, we can take out this motor and the wheel can be changed easily. Another part of the design that we had to consider was the fact that this rover needs to be transported to different competitions around the world. So, as a result, this suspension needed to be broken down and into pieces so that it allows for easy transport. The final design for most of the components on the rover are nearly finished and we're excited to see how it all fits together. Thank you from the team and from me, Connor Shentag, for watching the video. Don't forget to give a like and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos on our design. Check out the links to get to our Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn pages. Also check out our website at usst.ca if you don't want to wait to find out more about the team. Finally, a big thank you to our sponsors. If you want to donate to the team, check out our website or contact us at the links in our description. Right now, all donations up to $1,000 are being matched dollar for dollar until we reach our initial goal of $50,000. All donations are tax deductible, so make sure you get yours in. Thanks for watching.